hey what's up everyone I have another RX 460 video for you for this particular one we will be undervolting the graphics card and see what happens all right all right welcome back to the channel thanks for the support um, you guys have been great now I am particularly interested in this card based on the fact that it has a lot of advantages to it. Um, it's a card that is built for persons who are budget gamers, right? Um, and entry level gamers, so to speak, right? It's a very unique card. We did a video where we showed you how to overclock it, right? But um, I think it needs more than that. Undervolting the RX 460 means to reduce the amount of volts that the GPU receives in maintaining a steady frequency. For us to actually do that, we need to open the software that will allow us to actually carry out the undervolting. All right, so here is Radeon software setting our Radeon software. All right, let's move to gaming. Let's look at global settings. Then global Watman. So to see this a little better, I'll expand it. Now the area that we're going to focus on mostly is going to be this area here. This is the, the knob or the aspect of the graphics card that allows you to adjust the frequencies or address the voltage all right now the first bar right here allows you to increase or decrease the frequencies we're not focusing on that right now what we're going to be focusing on is here where you can reduce um, the voltage that the graphics card will be using all right um it is measured in millivolts, right? Basically, uh, this particular card has eight states. You don't need to worry about state one or state zero, right? The more state, the states that you need to be concerned with is these four states, states seven through to four. Those are the states that hold the peak amount of um, power output from the the particular card now here what happens to reduce the voltage you basically reduce it by um, 10 millivolts or so depending on how your card is right what I've found in testing this particular card is that we can go as low as 70 millivolts in reduction right so to do this let's let me show you remember I know I did not trouble the frequency tab at all so I'm gonna use the first state which is state 4 and make a change now this is 975 so reducing it by 70 gives us 905 agreed all right so that's the first change there for this particular one you're looking at 948 There you go. This one you're looking at nine nine eight. Mm -hmm. And this particular one it's ten thirty six. So right there we've reduced the voltage. Are we clear? It is going to maintain these frequencies that you see up here, right? Now, in reducing the voltage, there are some other things that we need to consider. For example the power draw here now for this particular one it was at 90 before and I reduced it to 75 this one was at 70 and I reduced it to 65 what this actually is doing is actually making sure that the card does not pass this limit right because we don't want it to get too hot you understand and when you're playing your games that chance or it's highly likely 
that it will get hot so we don't want it to pass this this amount so to ensure that it doesn't pass this amount we increased our fan curve to the maximum right so as as it gets hot the fan goes up to keep it cool all right so these are the three areas that we are going we we have been concerned with these areas allow us to do a stable um under vaulting all right so apply our settings now please remember that this depending on what you're looking for this does not increase performance in games and performance we're talking about here is the amount of frames you get per game that you're playing what this actually does is reduce the amount of energy while maintaining the frequencies that the card is running at so you will basically use less power in actually running this card all right um, i'm going to show you a few benchmarks to give you an idea of what is happening Like it.